Hello. Hi everyone. Welcome back. I am Lane with Crafty Life Mom. And let me turn my glue gun on. We are going to do a um, Easter DIY craft using items from the Dollar Tree. So I'm really not in my normal crafting space. So if I seem a little off or like awkward or lost, it's because I've actually moved my craft um, dream box out to like our living room so that I could go live tonight for you guys. And that's the one thing I actually love about the dream box is that it's on wheels and you can just kind of move it like a big armoire and then open it up and craft in your living room if you want. Um, but the reason I'm in my living room is because we are closing in my old space and making it like my office with a door on it. And if you follow me on Instagram, I shared, um, I believe it was yesterday, some progress with that. So if you want to check it out, you'll have to go look um, and see how that's going because it's not done yet. And I'm anxious for it to be done. Because as much as I love crafting, I prefer to be over there than in the living room. So, that's why I maybe seem a little off or awkward today. Um, the other thing I wanted to share with you guys, uh, look at my t-shirt. I wore an Easter shirt for you guys today since we're doing an Easter craft. It says, Silly Rabbit, Easter is for Jesus. This is a design that I have in my shop through Crafty Life Mom. Dot com. You can just click on the button that says shop and I have a couple different Easter designs in there so you can t um, take a look there if you want to order one of these. Better to order it now so that you have it in time for all the Easter things. The other thing that I wanted to share before I get started with you is also on my stories. You might have heard me talking about Crafty Life Mom, CraftyLifeMom.com, like my social media, which is Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest, and YouTube. How all of that combined is actually a um, like an online business for me, and so I shared about some free training that's starting tomorrow. It's called Build Your Blog Bootcamp, but if you have any kind of business where you want or um, you want to get better at having an online presence so that you can reach more people than just your local people, then that whole free training is actually about building a website and how to like promote it and, and it goes into details about it. And I just have to share it because it's um, free training that about three years ago I paid for and she's going to be offering it for three days, this boot camp to kind of like get your website started. And I have at least three people that I know of right now that I'm thinking of and just my personal circle who text me, message me, or call me and ask me questions about having a website or online presence or emails and marketing and all of that sort of thing. And so I just wanted to put it out there because I thought if there's those few people that are asking, there might be more. I don't typically talk about it, but I'm gonna share it today because it is a free training and it's just too good not to get your hands on when it's free because of I know what I paid and so to get some training like that is crazy good. Um, that's enough about that. If you have questions about it, message me. I'm always happy to share about what I do, how I do it. I'm an open book. I love to share. So just let me know what questions you have. Okay, so let's get on to crafting, which is my favorite thing to do and share. And I love collecting the crafty friends. So I'm going to be making an Easter DIY sign today. And I'm gonna tell you what I have picked up because I didn't really do a video or a picture before I went live showing my materials. So I'm gonna show you my materials now. The first thing that I got, and most of the things that I'm sharing are from the Dollar Tree. So the first thing that I'm gonna share with you is this white tenciled three piece bunny. Um, I'm gonna totally take this apart. This is super cute, like I love it, but I don't love it. Like the holographic pink inserts in the ears. This is cute for kids. And like Easter, and I could see it like at an Easter picnic or something like that. But like this 
it's just not me. But this piece and what this is, is like good bones for a project that I'm gonna do with you today that's like Pottery Barn inspired meets Joanna Gaines farmhouse. Like that's what I'm into. The Dollar Tree doesn't sell that, but they sell things that can make projects that you can create into that. So that's what we're gonna do today. So this piece actually comes into three rings. And while we're talking, or while I'm talking to you, I'm gonna start taking this thing apart because I'm actually going to use them individually and um, basically just get it down to the plastic bones there. I'm taking off all these white tinsel, all these ears, like all of this stuff. I'm just gonna get rid of it because we're not gonna use it. The other thing that I am using is a piece of foam board, which I pre kind of cut, but it's just a piece of board. It's the thicker one, poster board size, okay? Dollar Tree, you can get one for a dollar or you can get the regular poster boards that are like real thin for um, like 50 cents or something, like two for a dollar. So I'm gonna use one of these. Now I went ahead and scored it to the size that I wanted. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I um, cut it all the way through just using my little X-Acto knife. And the reason that I went ahead and did that is because I'm only using like half of it. And I'll show, show you why in just a minute. Um, but this little project is just going to be making a super cute sign. And I didn't even cut that straight, so just so you know. So I'm just gonna be using one half of it. And that's because I am using a frame. Now this frame, let me tell you about this frame. It is a wooden frame from a canvas that you can get at a local craft store. So this frame had a canvas on the back of it. You can see like the staples, well maybe you can, I don't know. The staples that held the canvas in place and if you know what I'm talking about, like the canvas wraps over the wood. Well, I took the canvas off, okay, and just threw it away or you can keep it in your fabric scraps or whatever. I took the canvas off and what you're left with is a nice wood frame in the natural wood. And this one even has like a little bit of detailed like molding here. Not all of them do, not the ones from the Dollar Tree, but from the craft stores, they're a little bit nicer. They're already cut into this shape and you can stain them. So if you've heard of reverse canvas projects, then you might know what I'm talking about. But if you haven't, that's what they do for a reverse canvas. They take the canvas off and then they put the canvas like behind the frame or they use the frame for something else like we're gonna do today. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the foam board the back of our frame. And look, we're gonna have this cute little sign using a piece of foam board and a wooden frame. Is it already looking farmhouse to you? Is it? Okay, I don't know. It is to me. So, you probably have an idea of what I'm gonna be doing already if you're even just a little bit crafty. So the other thing that I wanna share with you is at Michael's Craft Store, I believe is where I got this one. No, this is from Hobby Lobby. This is a Buffalo Check poster board. So, I just wanna share with you, like you can do a patterned poster board and frame it out and still get like a farmhouse look. I really like the way that this looks, um, but for the project that I'm gonna be doing today, I'm just gonna stick with the black because I feel like the black is a little bit more neutral in the tones, and like I said, I'm trying to go for that simple pottery barn, like maybe farmhousey, maybe a little Joanna Gaines vibe with this, um, with this project. So. I just wanted to show that to you because I love Buffalo Check. I love all the things Buffalo Check. Um, but as I was preparing to go live, I thought, you know what? Let me just do the black cardboard because that's probably the easiest and everyone probably has a Dollar Tree where they can pick up the foam board super easy um, as opposed to like, you know, I don't know, I have to drive like 20 minutes to my local Hobby Lobby and Michael's. Okay, so then the other thing I picked up from the Dollar Tree, so everything so far is from the Dollar Tree, except my canvas, my canvas frame. I pre-stained this. I just had some old stain in the garage. 
I used some gloves earlier this morning and a rag and just kind of like dry brush the stain on to give it this um, like driftwood color look. Um, you can even use um, wood markers and stain it. But if you have stain at home or in on hand, then use that. The other thing I picked up from the Dollar Tree was a couple of bags of this Spanish or floral moss, reindeer moss, reindeer moss. And so we're going to use that for our project today. So um, the last thing I want to share that I picked up is from the Dollar Tree, again, was these metal words. They're out for Easter. Here's the tag. They were, they're just like this. They're hanging in the section. This pack has three words in it, and we're going to use two of them. Um, so they first started coming out with these metal words, I want to say last fall, and I've been seeing them for every single holiday, which is pretty cool. So there's blessings in this pack, and then there's the words Happy Easter, and they're metal galvanized type of um, words. Super cute like this. They look good on the black. They have that shine to them, but, and I know some of you might cringe when I say that I'm going to do this. I'm gonna paint my metal words white just because I want them to have a little bit of like, I don't know, I just think the white's gonna pop a little bit. We'll see if it's a mistake, it's a mistake. But I'm just gonna use some Waverly um, chalk paint that I have, that I got from Walmart. And I'm just literally gonna dab it on my metal words here just to kind of give it that weathered look maybe. And it might be a good idea to even do like a hazelnut chalk paint on it. I just don't want the words to be shiny. I want them to be a little bit dull. And so when I was planning this project in my head, I thought I love the metal look, but I also don't want it shiny. So I'm just gonna like dabble on. It's still kind of shiny. Like you can still kind of see it in the light. So I'm just gonna take some of this paint and just kind of get it on there first to get it like, just, I don't know, antiqued maybe is the look I'm thinking of. Just, I don't, I just feel like Easter springtime is not super bright, not super shiny. It's those pastel colors. It's a little subdued, it's a little more calm. So I'm just thinking I needed to paint my metal letters white. So I know I keep talking about that, but. That's what I'm doing. So I'm painting the words Happy Easter with these, um, this chalk paint. And this is just a little foam brush. You can pick these packets up also at the Dollar Tree. They're not really in the craft section. I think they're in my Dollar Tree. They're like down there with the auto type stuff where you can find like rope and like home improvement. There's like a saw and I don't know, car washing stuff. You can find these foam brushes in that section of your, your Dollar Tree, at least for my Dollar Tree. If you live near me and you're watching this, these letters, these words were there just the other day. So I know they have them. Okay, so back to these bunnies. What I'm doing is I'm just cutting this tinsel off and this is going to make a mess. My dog is going to love this because if I don't get it all cleaned up, she's going to have fun chewing it. So I've got to watch that. But... This is just some white moss, or not moss, I'm sorry, white tinsel that they've just kind of wrapped around these bunnies and put the pink cutouts on the ear. And all I'm doing here is just taking off all of the tinsel. Like, the white is cute, bunnies are white, I love it, but for this craft, I want this to look, like I said, a little bit more pottery barn in style, um, a little bit more rustic, I guess. I don't know. We're gonna see. So it looks like we have some people um, on there, and y'all have any questions so far? I see someone saying hi. Hello, you're watching me craft. Great. I don't think who is that. Maudel, hello Maudel, how are you? Hi Heather, hi April, I see you guys. Oh, my cousin's there, what's going on? Um, 
you're watching me craft. So make sure if I mess up later, you can tell me all about it. So anyway, I'm going back to this bunny. I'm taking off this tinsel. It's taking a little bit longer than I anticipated, but that's crafting and live, right? All of its finest. And once I get this off, I almost wish I had a helper here helping me get rid of the tinsel on the other side. Just maybe I can get my husband to come craft with me. Would y'all see, would y'all watch that? <laughs> if I can get him to do it. Um, just to help me clean these off. Anyway, so I have this one almost tinsel free. I love tinsel, but I don't love it. I don't even use it at Christmas time, y'all. So, okay. So here's the bunny now, detinseled, right? Here it is. There's three in a pack. So, what do y'all think? Put a message in there. Do you think I should do all three? Because here's what I'm thinking for this project, okay? I'm going to use the wood frame to frame out my project, right? And I can fit, I've already kind of measured it, I can fit three of these bunnies all in a row. Or I could just do it vertically, okay? And do one bunny with the words Happy Easter. So you guys put down in the comments, I'm watching for your comments, tell me one or three. Cause I feel like two, I don't know, two would be kind of weird maybe. You tell me, all three of them or one, okay? So let me know. Now while I'm getting the rest of these bunnies cleaned up, because even if I don't do all three tonight, I will probably do these later, or maybe I'll even do a giveaway with one of them. So one bunny or three bunnies? Leave a comment down below, let me know, while I de-bunny, de-tensile the rest of these. So they kind of came with these little clips that kind of make them dangle. I'm just taking that apart on all of them and clipping this tinsel off as best I could. So for the frame, if you don't have one of these, like if you don't want to go to the craft store and get one, I'm going to tell you about a hack. There's another craft blogger friend of mine. Um, she makes signs all the time using foam board like this and paint sticks. So that's like her wood of choice. You can get paint sticks for free, like every time you get a gallon of paint, you know how they give you like one or two for free. So you can totally get some paint sticks for free or you can buy the bigger ones, which are the ones that I prefer to use, like this. I even brought a couple in, right? And you can use these to frame your sign. You can stain these and just cut off the little notched handle there and then put down the side that has the logo on it down so you can't see it. And now you can frame your whole little side. And what this says is it makes it a cute light, well, let me just do the right side. It makes it a super cute lightweight sign that you can kind of store with your home decor for the season. You don't have to lug around all these heavy signs. I know if you follow anybody who does any kind of decorating on Instagram, they have signs that they change out for the season, like above their mantles, above their TVs, everywhere. I change them on my front wall in my entryway. I have a like handful of signs that stay the same year round, and then there's one spot. I change it with every season, every holiday. I change a sign, and it's my favorite when it's a real lightweight one. Um, so that's why I like using the foam board to make the signs. So if you don't want to get paint sticks, the other option is you can buy really thin one by board, which I do use those boards to make my um, wooden signs that have like a true wood back to them. I have a piece of it right here. I'll show you. Look, I've almost got two bunnies, de-bunny, de-tinseled. So now I'm down to two. So what did you guys say? One bunny or two? Should I do... One or two, I see three. I say one according to what else you plan to put on the board thing. Okay, Model, I see that. I think we're gonna do three because I see a couple people have made, it looks like they've said three, I'm not really sure. I'm already on my third one, so maybe this is a little faster than I thought. Just so you know how I'm taking off the tinsel, I'm just cutting it through the back where I can, and it's actually like shedding all on my table like snow. 
and it is hot. I have all these lights on and it's Florida. There is no snow outside, yet it's snowing in here, hot. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and take all of this off that I can and I'm just kind of like tugging it and it just kind of pops off. I think there just went an eyeball from the bunny. Um, just to kind of get that off out of there. And look at that, this is super cute. I kind of like the idea of having three. I have three kids, so when they see this sign, they're at church right now, they go to Wednesday night church. Um, I can be like, yep, there's one for all three of you. And they kind of like the fact that they feel represented on mom's home decor. Um, it's just the kind of the thing that we have. I like to decorate for the seasons, and ever since my first um, son was born, he would take a nap, and when he was like three years old, he'd come out and be like, wow, you changed it. And like, I would literally switch over the house from Valentine's Day to Easter or spring or something like that. So now, it's a couple years later, and they kind of look forward to when mom's gonna change the stuff, and my daughter, she definitely wants to help me um, change out the home decor. So I think now I've, um, got her interested in it, which is kind of cool. I don't know if she'll do it when she's grown, but anyway, I'm proud, right? They want to, they want to decorate with mom. Okay. So yay. I finished all three of my bunnies. They were all tinseled and now I have these ugly plastic little frame things. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm gonna sweep away all of my tinsel. Pick, I'm just gonna put it on my buffalo board here. I'm gonna sweep it all away. Bye-bye. And get a broom for later. <laughs> Cause that was, that was kind of messy guys. I just wanna say that was probably messier than I thought it would be. And hopefully, my pup doesn't find it down there. Okay, so now that I've got a cleaner area, I bought this moss from the Dollar Tree. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna secure down my three bunnies. Oh, there's a little bit of mo uh, tinsel left onto my board. And I don't know if you can kind of see that, but this is what I'm thinking. Three bunnies and instead of the white tinsel, they're gonna be moss. So it's gonna kind of have that Pottery Barn, I, guess, I keep saying Pottery Barn, but like Farmhouse vibe or Joanna Games vibe on it. And then remember I painted those metal words, Happy Easter on the bottom. What do you guys think? Words or no words? Let's see, what do you guys think? Should I do the words? Whatever you decide always turns out great. Thank you, Martha. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. Okay. I'm just glad you guys are hanging out with me crafting. Like I said, I love to collect crafty friends. If you ever want to craft with me, come on over. Call me first though, and I might not be home. The last thing I want to show you before I get to gluing down, I told you for the frame, I'm doing a canvas frame, or you can do paint sticks. You can get these free, or you can buy like a pack of five for a dollar from Home Depot, Lowe's, even Walmart, I don't know that the Walmart has the big ones, but the only thing with paint sticks is that you have to actually cut off the little notch if you don't want that little dip there. Or you can get the one by, I think it's called one by, I don't really know, um, paint, like it's a little bit thicker. Can you see that? It's like half an inch thick, but it's like one half inch, um, one inch wide. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Um, you can also buy this in a really long strip about the same thickness or thinness as the paint sticks so that you don't have to worry about the writing or cutting. But the thing about that is you still have to cut it down to the size to make your frame. So if you don't mind making a trip to the craft store or if you have old canvas projects on hand, if you've ever gone to a paint class and you don't really like that painting anymore, take the canvas off and pull out the wood frame and stain it. Now you have a new project. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue my bunnies down and I wanna make sure that they are within the frame because I'm gonna just glue this frame right on top. 
of it. So you see what we got? We're still liking three bunnies. You guys, you think three? I don't really know. It looks kind of tight. We might have to do one on this frame and I might have to do bigger for the three. Let's see. I kind of like to plan it out ahead of time, but I kind of just had this in my head and was like, I'm just gonna go with it. Okay, we'll do the three, why not? Don't wanna disappoint. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna glue the frame down just yet. I can probably, but I don't know. Maybe I'll wait and glue that down. I'll glue it down first. So I'm just gonna flip my frame upside down and I'm gonna pick the good side of my board. I'm gonna say it's that one. And I'm just gonna put my hot glue all the way around the edge of it here just a little bit on the edges okay and this is hot hot glue today it is steaming you guys this Ryobi gun is the best let's see I have my glue oh wait it's over here I I'm totally turned around um, from moving my stuff all around with my craft room okay I'm hoping my glue does not dry okay so I'm just gluing the edges, like I said, and now I am going to flip this upside down and just kind of center it on the wood, making sure that I get my edges. And I'm hoping, oh good, great. It did not like bleed through. <laughs> that was a risk right there. Okay, so look, there's my frame sign. Isn't that super cute? And you can totally, it's super lightweight. And now you can do like a chalk design, you could do a vinyl design on there. You can do whatever with this whole theme or theory. Just a reverse canvas piece of wood stained and foam board from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put down my bunnies. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of tack them on with the plastic here and just kind of make sure that they're lined up pretty good, leaving a space in between like that because I think by having these little plastic bunny frames kind of will help create the dimension uh, for this project that I'm hoping for because I don't want it just to be a flat picture frame. Like I actually want it to have a little 3D dimension to it and you're gonna see with the moss once I add the moss to this, how cute it's gonna be. At least it's cute in my head, okay? All right, so, and you can always go back and like grab your glue, um, glue gun strings. So there's that and the third frame. So you see here, I just dropped some glue, but it doesn't matter. So now I've got my three bunnies on my foam board and I'm gonna put on my little pink finger protectors from the Dollar Tree. These save you from burning yourself and I have burned myself so many times going live. Okay, so I mentioned this earlier, if you're just tuning in, I have the floral moss, or it's called reindeer moss from the Dollar Tree. This comes in different packs and varieties if you're just tuning in. It also comes in, and I buy up three or four of these at a time because I kind of have this idea in my head, and then I use it for floral arrangement things too. If I'm putting some silk flowers in something, I just kind of use the moss to kind of cover up my mistakes. But this whole project is moss-based. So it comes in a brown too that is seems a little bit fuller bag and it's kind of dry. I'm wanting the green um, for this project. And when you open it, it's kind of like it's not wet, but it's kind of got that dewy feel to it. I'm hoping I have enough with three bags. I got three bunnies. So we'll see, y'all say a prayer that I do. Okay, so I'm just gonna, this is crazy, but I'm just going to put glue all in the bunny and just attach the moss 
all to the shape of the bunny. And I have this thing that I think I'm going to have to probably come back and trim, like where the moss hangs over or something. I'm not really sure because I want the moss to kind of keep the shape of a bunny shape without looking too furry or too hairy. Y'all know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Okay. All right. So here we go. I have one bunny ear down and I've used just like a little bit of a bag here. So I might need to get out just a little bit more of those finger protectors. Okay, so I don't want to put too much glue either that you can see it through the moss, but I don't want the moss to like shake off. Um, and I don't know if y'all are like aware of like what kind of project I'm trying to create, but I know if you've been in any kind of home decor store, you've probably seen where it's like, a greenery like a bunny and the whole thing is a moss bunny um so that's what i'm trying to create here we'll see how it turns out okay so here is let me just shake some of it off it's kind of like using glitter but see look see what i'm doing there is one ear of the bunny so might take me a little bit to get all three bunnies but i'm gonna do my best to work fast okay so, I do appreciate y'all spending your night with me, and I know you don't want to watch me put moss all over, but that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to fill in my bunnies, trying to keep the shape of the ears without losing the bunny shape. And you guys, this is probably going to take some glue sticks. Not even kidding. It's going to be a lot. So, let me get on that. All right, there we go. Let's move it along. This would be a good project that you could do with some friends too for some Easter decor. It's simple. You could do any other shape too. You could do Easter egg shapes. Those would be really cute. You could even get, um, I've seen them at the Dollar Tree in the past years where you have a bunny shape that has like, um, it's like a hopping bunny. So you could do like that. Oh, I have one here. You could do this bunny. I forgot I had this. You could do this bunny and take off the carrots and you could do this shape in the moss and just use the MDF as your like silhouette and just kind of build up the moss to create that whole 3D effect with making this moss. And this, you guys, this is a really messy project. I'm not minding it right now because my house is already a big mess because we are doing construction right over there behind the counter. You can't even see, or behind the camera. You can't even see, but it's my old, my craft room office over there. It's our dining room. We are converting it into a craft office and once it is done, I will share it with you guys and I will post about how, how we did it. Um, just so you guys can see that, if you're curious in that, because I am like you, I craft in my dining room. I took it over and I made it mine when we had the twins. I was like, you know what? I have nowhere to go. They took all the bedrooms. So I took over the dining room. We only use the dining room for Christmas. And even then, only a handful of people sit in there. So, um, for just a few hours of the year, why just leave it a space you're not gonna use, right? So, I took it over. Okay, so here is, I've almost got one bunny done. And it does take a little while, it's taken a little while to do the moss. Um, part and it is very messy y'all I know I said y'all um, it is very messy though let me be real with that okay and I took about one bag for one of these bunnies so if you go and make this 
and you get the three bunnies that I got in that one pack, the three came together, so it was a dollar just for those, then um, you might want to think about getting something else. Okay, so while we, while I was doing this, I got another idea and in the middle of doing this. That's what happens when I'm crafting. How cute is my bunny looking? Let me shake it off. I'm gonna have to shake off, shake it off. All the extra floral moss. Okay, look, there's one bunny. How cute is that? And I said I was gonna do three to represent my three kids. So I could do like a little bow tie bow down here, a little bow like in the bunny ears to represent my girl, and then another bow tie bow. How cute would that be? What do you think? Should I do that or should I just leave it more simple like how I intended? You guys leave a comment down below and let me know. Let me see, is there any questions? It's called a one bite. Oh yes, you're right. It's called a one bite. My husband knows that. I don't, I just know <laughs> when I when I ask him to get me the wood, I say, just get that wood that looks like frame wood, and then he he just he can read my my mind on that. Thank the Lord. Um, <laughs> and he usually gets the type of wood that I'm talking about. I have gone with him to the store too and picked it out and um, done that. So now that I have the one bunny done, I'm gonna try and move these other ones along just a little bit faster. So you guys can kind of see what questions do y'all have for me? Do you have any questions about the bunnies or about the wood or the project and the bows? Let me see. Add the bows and they'll be super cute. I think so too. I think it's going to be cute, right? I think it's going to be really cute. Um, okay, so since y'all are watching, I want to know who is going to try and make this. Who is going to try and recreate this? Maybe on a smaller scale. Maybe you're going to do something close to it. I want to know if you're going to actually do the project I'm sharing with you or not. Like, tell me in the comments. Do you guys actually, like, think you're going to do the projects or... Would you rather do it like in a group? Would you rather, like if you're local to me, would you rather have like a crafting class and we do it together? Like you come and I have all the materials and we make it together. I'm always down for that. Or maybe in a Facebook group I mentioned last week about some crafting kits where I will go around, gather up all the supplies and mail them to you, and then we have like a craft night together, which I will still go live in this group too, but for those who want like their own project, we could do it together. I'm just trying to get an idea of like what kind of crafting you guys want. So leave a comment down below and tell me because honestly, I'm gonna craft regardless. I just wanna do it how you guys would prefer to see it or have it done. like. Since it's like the one thing I absolutely love to do. And look, I've got like a spider web of string happening here. Um, okay, so I've got two bunnies done. I'm gonna keep moving on to the third one just to, and I'm kind of patting it down. My little grass mossy bunnies, patting it down. And I'm kind of pulling out the pieces that are kind of fur hairy like. Um, in between here because like I said I'm really trying hard to make sure that my <laughs> my moss stays the shape of a bunny like I want you to be able to tell it's like manicured grass or a manicured bunny right it would not look good if it was just a blob okay so I'm into my second bag I did have a half bag that I started with so technically it's the third bag but that first bag only had a little bit left in it and so I'm not doing too bad on the on the moss bag so I really feel like three bags is what you're gonna need if you decide to do this on your own um, if you feel like that's not gonna be enough then obviously you can get four so I'm dipping into my technically third bag and one thing I noticed here is like in this bag this one has 
longer pieces of mossy grass. So I'm kind of using it as a strip and laying that down into the ear curves first and then I'm going back and filling it in and that's kind of helping it um, keep the shape of the bunny silhouette. So like this, it almost looks like old broccoli. I'm gonna use that to kind of cover up the full middle there. I'm gonna need some more glue. Probably using about six or seven glue sticks now. So just keeping that in mind um, if you do this project, okay? All right, this bag is really nice because it had these bigger pieces in it which is allowing me to actually do this a little bit faster. It's almost like spongy versus shredded moss. So this bunny might actually look a little different than the other ones. It, at, the grass actually does look a little different. So, hmm. I guess you never know what you're gonna get when you go to the Dollar Tree, if that's not the truth. Yeah, this one is definitely more spongy-like than mossy-like. So. This one is going to be different. I guess just like all my kids, they're all different, right? If I'm doing this to represent them. All my little babies are different, each one. Okay, so almost done here with my third bunny. I might have to trim this one up just to kind of look shaved a little more like the rest of these two bunnies here. And you guys, these pink things are definitely an investment. They are saving my fingers from being burned. I have dipped them into the glue several times and I haven't gotten burned yet. And there's three to a pack at the Dollar Tree. I got several packs because if one goes missing or something like that, then I've got spare. Okay, so. Last piece of the bunny here. The only bad thing about this project is the shedding of everything and glue stick strings, right, from the hot glue. So I have to go back and clean all of that up. Okay, so here we go. I've got, for the most part, the three mossed bunnies. This is so cute. Wait till you see it. Okay, I've got to kind of like shave off my or shake off my excess here, kind of like glitter, you know, before I show you here. Let me kind of clean it up a little bit. Don't want you to think it just looks horrible. I don't know, you guys can tell me if it looks horrible. I kind of like it, I think it's cute. Okay, might be easier to do that, there we go. All right, so look right here, this is super cute. I'm loving it. Y'all will definitely see how the one bunny is kind of bushier than the other, but you guys, you know what? So I had my son first, and then I had twins, boy girl twins. So can I just say, that's probably something about Jesus right there. Okay, that's total representation of my kids. I have twins, and then I have one older son. So when I tell my kids, oh yeah, this is representation of you, you they're just going to love it even more. Okay, so I'm gonna add the bows. Y'all said the bows would be really cute, but don't forget, I have my galvanized metal words here that I painted white. I'm gonna add those to this, and then we will do some bows. So y'all will have to help me with the ribbon. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue kinda all the way down on here, and just kinda Center this up right there. And then I'm going to do the word happy. I don't know why I did Easter first. I just, I did. Okay, happy. Who is ready for spring? Or I know you're not ready for Easter. I'm not, but I am excited to start decorating for Easter and spring. And to me, like spring is Easter and Easter is spring. Um, and then I kind of start moving into like summer decor after that. But, okay, so I probably could do like a little extra gluing down here, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to press it and then kind of I'll go back and clean up my strings. And I'll try to remember this time because last week I forgot 
to post a picture of the finished um, thing. So tomorrow I'm gonna make sure I post a full picture of the project and I'll probably hang it up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Like I put the new decor. Okay, so here's my, and it's still kind of shedding because I need to make sure all the moss is secured and cleaned up. What do y'all think? What do you think of my three little bunny? Isn't this cute? Who's gonna make one? Are y'all gonna make one? I wanna know. Okay, so let me see. You guys said definitely do the bows or should I just kind of leave it as is? I kind of like, this one's a little bushy over here. I kind of like how um, it looks kind of like manicured lawn grass. No, do you like that look or should I go ahead and add the ribbon bows. I don't know, I can't decide. I kinda like it as it is. This is how I kinda had it envisioned in my head. So what do you guys think? Bows or no bows? I can't go back and see the previous comments. I'm going to try this. Yay, I'm so glad you're gonna try it. You have to send me pictures, even if it's a fail, because if I can help you fix it, I totally will help you fix it. I love it when you guys try a project. Um, I don't know, this just came to me in my head and I thought it was super cute. Okay, so let's look at the ribbon that I have. I'm gonna think we're gonna stay with um, like a natural ribbon. Remember last week I talked about um, adding some ribbon to the shamrock project that I had. So I had this ribbon, which is, I don't know if you can see it too well. It's like a white, see that? It's like a white stripey ribbon. And then I have this one from the Dollar Tree. I love Dollar Tree ribbon. Can you see it? It's got like a lace. So maybe what I do is the lace bow for the girl bunny. I could do that. And then um, the stripes for the bow ties for the boys. And my kids were actually born in um, order, like boy, girl, boy. So that will kind of look cute, I think. Let me see, I've got some twine in here. I'm just gonna pull out and I'll cut a piece of it and I'm just gonna tie this little girl bow together. And it's not really a bow, guys. I'm just pinching the ribbon to kind of cinch it down in the middle like, and making a knot with the twine, like this. What do you think? Is that a cute little bow? And then I can put, it's a girl, so I can put it in the middle. Wait, let me show you. Do we like yay or nay? What do you think? I like the bow idea. Do you like it? We'll do the little girl bow. Maybe I should do it on the side. Like she wears her bow on the side. And then for the boys, I could do um, bow ties, right? Won't that be cute? Bow tie bows. Like this, I've got two like this. And put them down here at the bottom. I'm not sure if I'm loving it, but you guys tell me, what do you think? Bows and bow ties or no? How cute would this be like, see, oh wait. Can you see with the bow tie? Bow ties for house, for boys. Okay, yay. Okay, so we're gonna do the bow ties and the bows. Um, I'm going to make sure that I cinch those down and I'm just tying the back. I'm almost done. I know y'all are hanging in with me to see how this turns out. You know what, I'm not gonna tie the bows for the boys. I'm just going to glue that somehow. I don't even know. Let's see. I might just do a pinch of glue on the back. Maybe that will work. Let's see. Okay. Let me glue the girl bow down. I decided to do the natural color. I do have some spring color ribbon, like some 
cute pastel plaids. But I think because of this project, I want it to stick to that farmhouse look. I'm just going to keep it with the natural toned ribbons. I just feel like that would be so much better. I don't know. You guys can do it however you want to do it. But this is just what I'm doing for mine. And let me just put it down here on this guy right there. Okay, so let me hold that down so it's secure. I've got all my glue strings here. Needs a little bit more glue. Do, 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 do. Just to hold it in place. Don't want to burn my fingers. Eek. And it's hard because you. this is wired ribbon, so I need to kind of fan it out just to kind of keep that bow tie look. This one's struggling a little bit, so I might have to go back and fix it. But same thing with this one over here. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the ribbons and bows, but I really like the way that this turned out. So here it is. It just needs a little bit more cleaning up. But what do you guys think? Do you love it? There it is. It's so cute. Okay, so if you guys decide to make one of these, you gotta come back and post a picture, show us what you made, or just send it to me if you're scared. And if you end up doing like a vertical one with one bunny, send me that too. I think that would be really cute and adorable too um, for Easter. So. That's all I have. If you guys have any questions about the website business thing that I was talking about earlier, just send me a message. Um, I'm going to put this on craftylifemom.com where I have all of my other blog tutorials. I have all of my other free SVG files. I have last week's stuff. You guys can go back and watch the replays there. And if you want the shirt that I have, I mentioned that earlier where you can get that from craftylifemom.com's shop but that's all I have for now I'm gonna put it up one more time just to show you because I'm so proud of it I love the grass moss Easter bunny projects and that's it I will see you guys next time bye thanks for crafting with me I will see you soon bye bye